Rosie from My Nutrition Adventure is joining me today to make a beautiful pasta. But instead of using the classic wheat pasta, we're going to be doing something a little bit alternative. We are indeedy. Today <laughs> we're doing something I like to call zoodles caprese, which is basically zucchini noodles. Okay, mm. so what I want you to do is start slicing that garlic, okay, while I do this spiralling. So I do want you to have a little watch because it is yes. jolly fun. <laughs> Get our spiral. And what I do is I like to really put a bit of pressure on to make sure that I get really nice long ones. Ooh. Well, that's just a wonderful contraption, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> so the great thing about this is this is a really good low-carb alternative to pasta. I also really like it because I tell lots of mums and dads about it because it's a very secretive, nice way yep. of getting the kiddies to get a bit more veggies in their diet so we can trick them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep spiralling. So when you're done with that garlic, what I would yep. love you to do then is just half those little um, cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. there, okay? Okay. And then we'll move on to the olives. Sure. Right, tomatoes are done, garlic's done, and I'm heating a pan, medium heat. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. So I'd love you to pop a little bit of olive oil in there. Can do. Okay. How much you olive oil? You can be quite generous with this. This is caprese, like, you can do that. That's not a problem. Whoa. Oh, Schofield, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> Sorry, Rosie. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> OK, chuck that garlic in there. We yep. want that to just brown. Sure. And look, olive oil's good for you. It is indeed, but like I say to everything, everything in moderation, OK? So you I am... You say that a lot I, to well, me. Well, I know, because I am a realistic <laughs> nutritionist. So I do know that we are going to be naughty most of the time. Yeah. OK, so, but what I'm trying to do is make a shift to 80-20. Okay. okay, so 80% of the time trying to eat fabulously clean and then 20% of the time you only live once, don't you? So, oh. oh, well oh. done. Good chilli chopping there. I've left yeah. the seeds and membrane in because I like the heat. Me too. But Get it in there. Take it out yep. for the Yeah, good kids. for that metabolism. It makes me feel alive. I yep. like that very much so. So this is all fine as it is, but what I like to do is just squeeze the zucchini a little, mm -hmm. just to get, you'll see, yes. just to get a little bit of that moisture out. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want is a soggy caprese. Oh, no. Right? No. no. <laughs> so what we want to do is get that out, and then we'll chuck it in the pan, OK? Right. So that's just a little tip there. So this is just starting to go brown Fantastic. now. Fantastic. So that's time for the tomatoes sure. to go in there. And you just want me to blister these to... Just to soften. Yep. That's all we need for just that one. This one is very light mm. frying, OK? Gorgeous. Yeah, we just want to get everything tasting delish. Oh, that smells divine. I know. Divine. <laughs> Yum. And I'm allowed a little bit of salt. Absolutely. Tomatoes Good love quality salt. salt. I'm just going to rip a little bit of basil just for the top there. Sure. Uh, what you can do is actually add those Kalamata olives there as mm -hmm. well. I love Kalamata's. I just think Me they too. just give you a little bit of a sour every so often and it's fantastic. And when you're getting the olives, I always like to get them with the seed in already and then take them out. It'll take an extra two or three minutes of your time, but it's worth it because the flavour is so much better than the olives that are already been pitted. Absolutely. Fresh mm. is best. We want to always try and go fresh wherever we can. Rosie, those colours are getting me very excited for this. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> so what we're about to do is we are just going to add this. So we yep. got rid of our moisture before. We've had a good squeeze, give it a good last squeeze. Mm -hmm. OK, and we're going to lightly sprinkle that mm. in. We're going to stir that into there. Look at this colour. Yeah, right, we're going to add one other colour now, OK? So I want mm -hmm. you to plop those bocconcini in there. In whole or rip them up a bit? You can rip them up a little bit, I think, a little bit more authentica. Mm. Wonderful. And the bocconcini, when they're, they've got a little bit of heat to them, they start to get all gooey and Ooh. oozy. It really does smell fantastic in here. This is the perfect spaghetti. Isn't it just? <laughs> now, I think that is ready to plate out now. OK, I've got a big shallow bowl there. I will get my basil ready. And you can see, see that oh. gooey mozzarella there? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're going to enjoy this. Fantastic. I'll just pile it up with all those yummy tomatoes. Mm. So I have a little sprinkle just to add a little bit more flavour element there. You know what, I calculated that and I said 15 minutes at the beginning, but it's been 10 minutes. Not even, absolutely. Not Such even. a good weekday, easy, easy dinner. Yep. Love it, Rosie. Thank you very much. Not a problem.